That was weird. Why did it start late? Okay, I'm actually gonna reset. That was really stupid. I knew I should have practiced this level. Or Fastler. I'll get it, whatever. do that. I'm stupid. That was so fast though.
Oh my god, leave me alone. This sign down should leave me alone. Okay, okay. <laughs> It was okay. I'm doing just fine. Got good RNG on my first attempt of the day, so hopefully I will get good RNG for the for you know the entire time. But uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. How are you? That's good to hear. But yeah, I got cherries, and I was like three seconds ahead. And then I died to sign bounce, which is very cool. Let's go! And I did the I did the bad RNG movement. But I was still pretty ahead. I did realize though while watching Mitsui's stream that when you get bad RNG you only have to get one fruit from like from the cats. So if I do get bad RNG I'll be saving a bit of time. Is this the dark cutscene? It is. Nice. It definitely looks like it. save time. I mean, I'm just saving time over how I did it before if I got bad RNG. Like, I'm not saving time over good RNG. I'm just saving... I'm just saving time over what I did before if I get bad RNG. Cause usually I collected like multiple fruit from the cats. I mean, it's probably not even gonna save like a second, but at least it'll make it easier to be ahead if I get bad RNG. Also, assuming I I get everything else quickly. I just realized that Rolly's eye. No, Rolly's. Eyebrows are black, but her hair is red. And then Chick's eyebrows are, are a different color than his hair. That's very interesting. And Bantam, I guess he's fine. He's fine. His eyebrows match his hair.
Maybe. Oh my god, that was bad. Okay, so yeah, that was the dark cutscene. <laughs> Already. Last attempt. That's kind of funny. Oh my god. Okay. Well, no good RNG. Okay, well, I just got berries from the little enemies, or the cats, not the little enemies. Whatever, they are little enemies. I'm still probably gonna have to kill like more than one of them since it takes a while for the fruit to land. Like I think it's it always takes the same amount of time for the fruit to land, but it it's like a different like where they land is RNG or something. Because when I was doing uh, Circus Four ILs, that was like a nightmare trying to trying to like get up at the perfect time to grab the melon and then also like breaking the boxes and then hoping that I can actually, like, get them. Also, wow. Ahead again. I think the only thing that even got me ahead was just having the PDR. No, 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 okay. Alright, the ending there kind of sucked, but whatever, my egg didn't break, which I highly appreciate. Like, I rolled directly into it and it doesn't break. Like, it literally makes zero sense. Probably the biggest gamble in this entire game. What if the game decide that your egg breaks? Or will your run live?
At least I'm already going to pirate. And hopefully if fast floor goes well, I'll have a, some free time save, like consistently. Oh my god. I hate messing up menuing in this game. like the dumbest way to lose time. Also, it throws off my uh, timing for skipping the intro cutscenes. What is this RNG? What? How, how many... Did I get like... Hold on. If I got... Hold on. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh my god. All those pineapples and cherries. That was pretty crazy. Even crazier if I'd gotten like the uh, good RNG on the frog, but it doesn't matter. That was like that was like four four little pineapples, five little pineapples, or something. Oh yeah, I can explain that. So basically, like every egg has you know a set of fruit that it likes I, I think it just varies between eggs i think most of it's like two or three and then there's some that's just one like for example like the yellow comb egg at like the very in the very last level that we use for palace skip it likes only strawberries and all golden eggs like cherries and pineapples and basically like what that does is it like doubles how much the egg grows so like when the oh my god so like the yellow comb egg if i gave it one strawberry it would grow to half size or one big strawberry specifically i i shouldn't have jumped there like for example, like in Palace in Palace One, like if you if you kill the dinos and you get like like the the rabbish oh I forgot to start the timer. Okay. When you get like the rabbish egg, that one likes I think it likes strawberries, melons, I think cherries and pineapples. I think because like usually animal eggs like a bunch of fruit. Like every egg in the game that isn't like a um that isn't like a spotted egg or a golden egg, usually they grow like a lot faster. Yeah, the fruit is complete RNG. Like well it like only fruit from enemies is rng like if it's in a box or something or just lying out in the open it's always going to be the same but drops from enemies are always rng and if we didn't have like if if the box if the like non-enemy ones were like rng as well then you could potentially like Let's see, what would happen if you got, like, all bananas from, like... Four, four, four bananas, like, four is one, four bananas would be, like, half size. So then you would have to get... Uh, five bananas. So yeah, you would literally have to collect every single fruit at the last little section of forest one if all the big fruit were bananas. But 
only one of them is consistently bananas and you know the enemy enemy drop is random from the big cat I'm pretty sure the way that golden eggs work with fruit is four of any fruit will grow it by one. And then two of, well, tiny fruit, obviously, but like two fruits. Uh, nice. So like if it gets two fruit that it likes, but it's tiny fruit, it'll grow by one. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. That's why we depend on like the little caps. Or oh my god. Okay. That's why in Circus 1, if we get bad fruit from the big cats, then we just kill the little cats because if you get enough cherries or pineapples, you'll have enough. That's like the that's like the second to last worst RNG if you have to rely on the cats or the, the little cats the little cats best RNG is obviously quadruple cherry or pineapple from um the big cats But like it's not even worth going for that because because like what what most runners or i think all runners what they do is just they go for they go for a pineapple that's kind of a little bit out of the way like a big pineapple because like if you if you went if you didn't get that like the reason why you get that big pineapple like as soon as possible is just if you get like really bad RNG, then you have to wait for that to respawn. So like you have to, you, you want to get it as early as you can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why does this prick hate me? Like, if you don't go for that pineapple and you get, like, good RNG from one cat, then you'll you'll end up being, like, short, like, two, two egg sizes. But if you get that pineapple, then you'll only have to worry about... Actually, I think if you don't get good RNG from one, then... And you also grab that pineapple, it'll be good enough. Like, I'm pretty sure the IL world record goes for, like double good RNG from from the uh, cats since that's I'm pretty sure well it's obviously faster because you don't have to go all the way out of the way to get the uh, that pineapple
Yeah. I don't even know how much time it saves just to go for the double... The double good RNG. Probably not that much, honestly. Since... I'm pretty sure people only do it in the I.O. Nice. So like fruit, basically fruit management's basically just a bunch of math or something, and knowing what fruit likes what, what egg likes what fruit. But it doesn't really matter that much, other than well, at least in any percent, it doesn't really matter that much, other than like. Let me think. Um, golden egg levels and palace one. Since depending on what fruit you get in Palace 1, you may have to, like, like, you know, distribute it differently between the two eggs for Palace Skip. But I already mentioned that, like, if you get strawberries, but then you get a bad fruit for the Rabbish Egg, then you just grab the pineapple and then grab one of the strawberries, and then you grab the two bad fruit as well. And that grows to full size if you're doing the full size setup. Oh yeah, moles also. I forgot about moles. Like, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much unless you're doing- unless you're trying to go for, like, the god cycle. Cause, like, if you're- if you're good enough at the fight, you'll have- you'll have gotten enough fruit from the ice balls to grow to full size, just to get the, um, this- the cycle skip. But I'm sure there's some random thing, obscure thing in Hundo where it's slow. Uh, or not slow, but like, RNG actually matters for a certain egg. But also, it might not, because since you need to get S ranks in Hundo, you might just have to kill a bunch of stuff and you'll have more than enough fruit anyways. But I, I don't really know, because I do not intend to watch or play 100% ever. Unless the monkey plays it and gets world record, because that would be funny. Well, it's like a six at it's a six hour category, so like no. Like, that would be equivalent to, like, watching... Also, nice gold. That would be equivalent to, like, watching... An entire, like... I don't know... Like, a multiple Mario game run or something. Like, nobody's gonna be actually watching that entire thing unless you're, like... 100% degen, or, you're, you know, you're the one playing. Or I'm, I may be wrong, because I've never actually watched an entire one of those things. No, 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 no. Okay. Nice. That was fast blur, and I just did it. And it was pretty smooth, other than the end there. But that's- oh my god. Oh my god. 
That's an easy gold. Still improvable because, you know, the ending there. My first couple of hits were kind of slow. But yeah. That was some, like, good time save. Like, I think that saves... I have no idea. But that saves a good amount of time. Like, yeah, it was like 15 seconds over my gold, I think. Just about. Okay, that was not 15 seconds, but... That was a good amount of time. Why did I do that? I can roll into that. I guess I just felt like not taking risk at all at that moment. But running with that trick, like there's a chance that I could like get my egg broken. Or more of a chance than before because I've gotten my egg broken already in that fight. But it'll just be a really nice time save to have, which will make getting 111 a lot easier, and it'll make being able to play other games a lot easier. Since, you know, I, I like to play other games as well as this. Where is he? Okay. Oh, I got the one frame. Or the two frame. But I actually got the emblem, though. Okay, I did. Nice. I saved two frames. Two frames. Yeah, I play other games. I miss other games. I want to go back to SpongeBob. But hopefully, I'll get this 111 soon, or you know, an even better time. We'll, you know, we'll have to see. Thanks, Kay. That really scared me. I, I, what I, I wanted to throw the egg like I normally do, and then grab the bomb. But I think I was closer to the fence prop that, than I usually am, so it reflected back sooner. And I grabbed it and I rolled it, and I literally thought I was it was gonna hit Rolly or something. Like, that that freaked me out. And it also lost me time. This is a pretty good run, though. I haven't lost a lot of time um, since Pirates um, 1. Where I got bad RNG. Okay, that was very slow, but I better safe than sorry, honestly. Could have hesitated a little bit less on that um, cannon shot, but that was very good. Nice. This is an acceptable Pirate 5. Favorite level in the game. Except for the anchors, the anchors were kind of in an awkward position and I couldn't tell whether it would be safe to jump through the last one. The first two are perfectly fine though.
All right, I practiced these two levels a little bit before starting, so hopefully I can um, not make mistakes. Oh my god, get off. Okay. Okay, that was really sloppy, especially at the end there. I couldn't even attempt to chick bounce. I need to get a better feel for hitting the chicken without having to jump on him. Because when I have to jump on him to get the, the like chick bounce state, it is very awkward to set it up. Come on, cats and B, especially the B. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Dude, no. God oh, damn it. Why does this level hate me? Oh my god. I literally, when I was practicing this level, I literally didn't get the in play a single time. And I got the fast clip with him, like, going towards me, too. Like, it was very cool, and I just wanted to go for it. Because I knew that he wasn't going to inflate. Of course he wasn't. Like, it's, come on. He would never inflate. That would be too easy. Oh, well. It's, at least it wasn't a huge amount of time. Okay, this is probably gonna gold because perfect. Well, not perfect. Well, I guess perfect RNG because I got cherry and pineapple. Come on. 
Alright, that was really good. Also, I got the tree bounce. It was a little bit sketch, but... I did get it. Saving a lot of time over my PV, that's for sure. I don't know what went, went wrong. I guess I just got, like, literally the worst RNG. Nice. But hopefully Dino will also be nice to me and not rain, like, 5 billion, like, meteors on me. I very much appreciate that. And also if this sign bounce works, it should. I, I'm pretty sure I figured out what I was doing wrong. Oh my god. I'm going to be a little bit patient on this one. Hopefully I don't land on the top again. Or at least I realize that it's going to happen. Okay, nice. This was a really good dino, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, well, I, I know where my big time save is in this PB. Yeah, for this time. Or at least one of them. Level has been kicking my ass recently, but... I'm fighting back. Yeah, I am doing really good. Really happy with my gameplay right now. Haven't made any major mistakes really. Okay. Okay. All right, good. That sucks. Remember, to our knowledge, that was complete RNG. There's nothing I could have done to prevent that other than not getting hit. But also, the meteors are RNG. And I was just in a position where it was basically impossible to not get hit. So just double random. Awesome.
All right, Blizzard. I'm doing really well right now. I'm... I haven't had a pace like this in a little while. Well, ever, because, you know, I'm ahead of my current PB, which I guess does mean this is my best pace, technically. Like, the only major mistake I think I've made so far is not getting the B clip. And, um... I think that's it. Like, when I think about it. But it's the only non-random thing. Well, actually, it is random. But... The, the least random... The, the biggest mistake I've made that's not pure randomness is basically what I'm trying to say. Because I could have saved it. And it would have been really sick, and I probably would have golded too if I had gotten like the the if I gotten the clip the way I tried to get it. But yeah, I'm gonna grab this here just for safety. Cause why not grab some pineapple? Well, it's cause it loses time and I had no reason to do that because I got all the fruit. I shouldn't really be using those as backups anymore. Cause I, I'm, I'm more than good enough to get those fruit on the slide. But I was just like, hey, two pineapples right next to each other. That's pretty cool and also pretty lucky. So let's let's do that. And it only lasts me like what a second or two, probably like two seconds, because I didn't dash jump onto the slide, so I had to accelerate a little bit. I don't think the slide acceleration was slower than the dash jump acceleration. Wow, this run is very fast right now. I want to see how, how this run deals with Circus, or how I deal with Circus when I get there. I just want to get good RNG and be very, very good at um, Circus too. I've been practicing that level a lot. And I just think, yeah, I could probably definitely get a better like Nice. That was smooth. Better than the cat kill since I just literally missed one. Yeah, that was pretty good. How did I lose 20 seconds in my PB? Can anyone explain? Because I am golding now. Awesome. I, I don't even want to ask, man. Like, how did I lose that time? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, never mind, we're good.
Alright. That mole scared me a little bit, like honestly. I was very close to being a disaster since I grabbed like literally one ice ball during the attack. But I happened to get a melon and also a lot of fruit while he was uh, down. So it was fine. It was fine. And also the, the first hit um, with that throw, I hit both hits and I was like, is that going to mess me up? But it, it did not. I have to like mess up a lot more for it to for the for it to actually hit the hit cap. Well, circus one time. Could have maybe ran through this level. But it's fine, I'll get the penguin kill in the PDR. Right game. I think that was too early. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude, are you kidding me? Okay. God, please, game. Oh no. Apple. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the worst RNG. Wait, no. Wait, I think I'm good. Okay. I was two fruit away from the worst RNG correction that I must make. If I didn't get those tiny, um,. That tiny chair and that tiny pineapple, it it would have been a disaster, honestly. But I'm I am still gonna be losing time because I missed the PDR and also because you know, LOL RNG. No jump sound. Cool. I'm kind of surprised I missed that PDR, honestly. Alright, we're gonna get double out of bounds, we're gonna do Task Monkey because easy, and we're, we're gonna be on our way to Sand. Where we can worry about Sand too, instead of Circus too. Right Billy. Right Spotted Egg.
Okay, that kind of sucked. But it's better than my PBs. That really sucked, dude. Dude, oh my god. Okay, thank you. I I have not had a good circus two for so long, at least in at least in you know runs, but still saving quite a bit of time over my PB. Literally practiced that stage every single day since last streaming. Like I undoubtedly put the most time into that, but okay game. Like, I was literally getting near-perfect Circus 2s, like, almost all the time those first try PDRs. I even got the, like, the really good, uh, second out-of-bounds where you don't even have to land out-of-bounds. You just, um, you just go all the way to the end. But, like, even if I did get that in a run, I think I would literally, like, never go for it. Because there's just the risk that I don't make it. But, I mean, I might, honestly. Like, if I did get that, I, I think it's pretty easy to, like, differentiate whether you're going to be able to make the entire thing or not. Because it is just a really good PDR when you do... When you can go the entire distance. But it's kind of rare to get in runs. And also, at the angle I set it up at, it's... A little bit more difficult to get consistent. I'm kind of mad about that second out of bounds though, because I literally just like, just I I made it like the second or first time, and I just like did not. I just did not go, or I did not try to bounce because I thought I would have missed it, and I'd missed it anyways. But now we're at sand one. A little bit of a breather before sand two. Let's go! What? Oh, okay. I've never made that mistake before. Like, this level either goes completely normal or I mess up horribly, but I guess that was just not a terrible mistake. I mean, it did lose me like five seconds or something. Or like three seconds, like, yeah, probably like five to ten seconds, but. I didn't get the two frame jump to make up for it. Okay. So that was minimal time loss. If I get a good sand too, then... You know... That would be very nice. And a good Corvo. Yeah, this Corvo... Hates me sometimes, apparently, for some reason. Newly found hatred. Because I guess I'm speed running too fast or something. I don't know. Pretty sure my problem with Corvo was that I was hitting him too fast at one point.
Dude, you're, uh, I'm, oh my god. That's actually literally the worst way to fail that trick. I'm using so much fucking time, dude. Come on. Uh, Alright, well this run fucking sucks now. It's basically over. Oh yeah, it's 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 over. I can't get enough fruit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, I love this game. That was so awesome. That was just that was just, that was so awesome. I love I love video games. I love cutscenes. I love the sun. I love the lens flare. I love the the weather vane. I love the windows, the door, Billy, Billy's clothes, his trees, his bushes. Oh my god. It's just, it's Oh well. If I've been playing as well as I have been for this entire time, then I should be able to get back there fairly easily. That was a really stupid attempt at torch skip. I was barely inside of the torch. But just this thing that happened at the end was literally the worst thing ever. Like, I cannot explain why that happened at all. Hopefully I can I can get there again. I would love to be there. Okay, I would love to get a uh, 111 in this video game in this category. Because then I can move on. If I get another run that dives a torch skip, I'm just gonna be practicing that, honestly. Like, I really should not be losing runs to that, dude. It's like the worst feeling. Especially when I mess it up in like such a particular way that causes me to not only die, but then I also don't have enough to do the backup uh, a, a third time. Oh my god, dude. I mean, already starting pretty strong. Good really good forest one other than RNG.
I really hope I start averaging like sub 405 forest ones or something. That's what I'm doing in this stream. I don't think I've gotten a single bad forest one. Except for the one that died to Blue Hoop Skip, which got the PDR. That was basically really good pace until, you know. I went inside of the Blue Hoops. Why, dude? Please explain to me. Why? Force 2, on the other hand. Ha Really glad I fixed my layout for uh, this game because the game feed was really all the way on the right before and it kind of made me angry after a couple weeks. But I think it's centered now. It's centered enough for me to not care. Transformed. Let's go. I also need to like create my panels for my channel, but I don't feel like it's but I should. I'll do it eventually. keep happening. Bananas. Yeah, also I don't really know like how I would make it. Or, like what I want the panels to look like. Just like getting out of forest one, like I, I just gotta like process that. It's like it's, I'm very surprised with how well I'm doing right now. 
I hope this is not just like this lasts for one day and then after this back to resetting in that level to the PDR but I think I've gotten a better feel for it now especially with getting the angle or the optimal angle like just that circus 2 practice I've done has really helped the PDRs and how I want to do them camera just rotated in a good direction. It was kind of funny, every time you start the game, or every time you start the timer and you accidentally don't start the game, it's literally like a reset, basically. <laughs> When you think about it. So there's just a very small percentage of people's resets that just is for not not starting the game. It's pretty low for me on uh, these splits. Or just in general. Since I, I, I don't like trying to like hit A as soon as possible because I don't... Because like the window for it for like pressing the story mode is a little bit weird. So I just take my time a little bit on that. Oh my son, of best is now sub 10620. I don't remember what it was before the stream, but okay. I think if I hit like two hours or two and a half hours and I don't have anything, I'll just go for a no reset. Just to finish a run. But with how I'm playing, I'm, I, I really hope I get something going because I'm playing incredibly well compared to most days. So like, I really hope I can just get a run, like just PB. Cause I don't know how long I'll be able to play this uh, consistently. Like, look at that. Why does this keep happening? Bananas. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that was... Oh, the, what? The, okay, well that was very weird. The, the sound effect, the, the whole entire sound effect just loaded really, really late. Like, it literally just ended. <laughs> it literally got cut off by the cutscene ending before the sound did. That's awesome. I got a delay like that uh, last stream as well, but it was way less noticeable. Like, I only noticed it when, um... When the Elder was doing his thing. Like, I didn't hear it get cut off, but yeah. So nice. I've been, like, wow. I like to get past Forest too, though. That would really be nice. Very risky. Like if I wasn't, if Billy was not in the right position there, I would have literally would have just lost my run because I landed on the ledge, or the egg landed on the ledge, but I didn't. There's a very cool part of this game that everyone loves a lot. It's their main point of um, appreciation when they talk about this game on the internet. Oh my god. Is that a 2 of 3? No, it was a 2 of 2. Okay. I should never get a 2 of 3 on that fight unless something goes really wrong. In which case, uh, I would not get a 2 of 3, I would just reset before the fight ends. again. Am I getting bananas twice in a row? And force one and then here. Yeah. 
like why I was gonna say other than that pretty good but then I did that which I absolutely despise doing Like whenever I do that in a segment, I'm just like, Ugh. it was literally the only mistake I made. Wait, you can center the camera while talking to the elder. What the hell? I mean, you can do it while you're reading any text other than the, the chicken god text. Like literally anything that doesn't fix your camera, you can move it, but I just never thought about it at all while talking to the elders. See, look at that. I lost three seconds because, um, the frog, uh, the frog gave me bananas. Don't, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, wow. My eye was itching the entire time. <laughs> Oh my god, I... <laughs> That's so stupid. Why did that have to happen? Why did it? Explain. Why couldn't I have just taken damage, huh? 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 Explain to me right now, video game. Tell me. Why did my egg have to break? Why do I have to be back here again? Okay, that was a very acceptable pace. I, I could have just not reset on that because I would have went mostly probably even with my PB because I don't do fast for my PB but like like what's the point at that like yeah like fast glory is easy enough to where if I mess it up like that I should be resetting and uh, then again I can always just do the safe strat where I sit next to him which will always work if he uh, shoots two puddles Which, he will always shoot two puddles if you hit him very quickly. Let's go! And what might be the reason for that, Yujinaka? Why, why does that happen? Can you explain to us why you shoot two puddles if you hit him at ASAP? Or do you not know? Uh, 
High Corvo, High Corvo, High Corvo, High Corvo, High Corvo, High Corvo. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi Corvo. Goodbye. Hi Corvo. What was that angle? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, and it didn't slow it down this time. So now I'm actually losing time. Because of that. And of course I get good RNG. Except for blue hoop skip and that PDR being really really close like wow I should ask the Billy server about like loading inconsistencies when it comes to loading like audio or something. Because my copy very commonly, well not very commonly, but usually one, like at least once per session it'll load some sort of voice clip uh, or audio desynced. Aww, 406. I blame Blue Hoop. It was Blue Hoop's fault entirely. Well, now that I'm behind on Forest 1, I guess it's going to go downhill, unless... What? Okay. I just wish that camera was consistent on the second tree. What would make going for that risky strat just way less of a pain? Like, I would actually go for it all the time. Because there's no camera inconsistencies to mess me up. Also, where's the other fruit? Nice. Honestly, I would have run probably would have died to Pirate 5 anyways. Anchors specifically, because I love anchors. Not really, but... 
it's just a double-edged sword. It's really fun when you get it, but it really sucks when it's just in the worst position possible. A fun fact about about part five. I literally didn't have it on my splits in my first run. Like I literally forgot it was a level. I had to add it in after. My supposed favorite level. Nice. Okay, not nice if I can't get dashes. Okay, that sucks. I even forgot it when I was learning the game. Like, I literally did all of Sand 3 and it sent me out of the level because I had 24 emblems. I was like, okay, let's learn Pirate 5. And I learned Pirate 5. And now it's my favorite level, probably. Like, I would grind for a world record in it if the, the you know, IL strat wasn't awful. But, uh, yeah. This is a pretty average pace. I cheated death. I got it's already one AM. Was that too fast? Oh my god, it was. No way. Okay. If you had one invincible, I would have reset. Like, that would have been the dumbest way to miss fast blur if I just shot at him and it didn't work. So I guess the two puddle thing, you just have to hit him incredibly quickly. Like, before he even turns fully, like, opaque. Or something. Cause yeah, I, I guess I, I don't know. It's I don't even know if that's like intended. Probably not, because you you can't really dash there. 
Like, you can't really dash there properly unless, like... Or you can't really get there fast enough properly unless you use dash cancels. Which aren't really, like, things that you're supposed to be doing in the game. Also, a nice time save. That was, like... Yeah, it was, like, 8 seconds, right? Yeah. 8 seconds. I seriously wonder if that rail jump is, like, jumping off that railing is faster, because... I think normally when you when you jump from there, or when you do that, when you land on the ground, you're, like, a little bit slow. You have, like, slower speed. Also, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, it might. Come on, get over here, get over here. Thank you. Oh, and I got the jump. Nice. I don't think I actually hit the emblem though. Yeah, I missed it. And I missed it again. And I missed it. Well, no, I only missed it twice. I missed it twice. And then, yeah. That was such a sketch setup though, like... I literally, was literally repositioning like seconds before you even jumped onto the platform. Was I? Oh right, the rail jump. That rail jump like has to be faster, man, because I swear you're going at like a slower speed if you roll off of it, and then you... I just don't even know what to say at that point. Like, why... Why did that have to happen? Exactly. Explain, please. No, I don't get it. I don't, uh, why, 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 why? If only I'd gotten that torch skip, man. It would be so great. I would be happy. I would be in, in a different place. I'd probably be at the end of the run. Well, I would already have finished that run by now if I didn't miss torch skip like three times. So that was terrible mashing, oh my god. Still sub 12, okay. I think I'm reaching that point where I'm gonna start making stupid mistakes like that. Basically means probably not gonna PB. Maybe I won't make those stupid mistakes, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah. 
Dude, what? How did I make that? Like, I didn't want to comment on it before because, like, I was like, okay. But I'm actually surprised that I made that. Oh my god, dude. What am I doing? Okay, if I don't get good RNG, I'm resetting. Bananas, 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 bananas. I love bananas. Boink. Let's get up, let's get up here. So I would, I just would love to play Bob, but I have this goal, and I'm so close to achieving it. But the game decided I needed to play for longer, so it gave me that 112. Very bluntly, too. You know, I wasn't even subtle about it, like, oh no. Uh, you won't lose your 112, you won't lose 111 pace to a bunch of minor mistakes if you make throughout the run. No, you'll, you'll lose it to your egg breaking and having two extra, no, three extra phases instead. But yeah, I just like. Movie, BFBB, either of those games, I would love to, like, grind them out or something, because... Number one, I have a lot of fun with them. Number two, I don't gotta watch a cutscene. Number three, I just, I just want to try to reduce the rust I have when I come back as much as possible. And, you know, that entails PBing as soon as possible. Which is currently not happening. Because, uh, dot dot dot. Yes. Let's go! Like, the game isn't fully against me yet, in terms of randomness yet. Like, if that chick- if that chick with the blue hat blocks my path, that's when I- that's when I decide the game is completely turned on me and it wants me to not have fun. Even though it loses, like, barely any time, still. Like, it's just trying to stop me that much. I was actually practicing Forest 3 before stream as well, and, well, that did not go very well, especially with the KBC. Because the chick just kept getting in the way, like, consistently. Why did I do that? Like, it, like, it just kept getting in the way, over and over again. Like, I don't think any- I think I got a, a good P- or, or a good KBC, like, one time practicing that level. It's because the- like, because uh, for some reason I suddenly suck at that KBC now, and also, um, I'm just- 
like, ugh. Just not, um... What am I even saying? Literally just forgot what I was gonna say, whatever. online right now okay he's playing movie okay, it's casual streamers playing battle rubber rare okay i wonder who i'll raid i mean it's a while till i'd actually raid someone because i don't even hit two hours Like, I want to have at least a minimum of two hours when I stream. Like, I used to say four hours, just so I could get a lot of attempts in, but... Nah, like, that's just too long. Especially, like, not on the weekends, because... You know, I won't be able to, um... Because, like, when it's not the weekend, I can't really stream that, m that much. Or at least for four hours, you know? Like two hours, yeah. That's fine. But four is a little much. And I think I was often, a lot of attempts that I did weren't really getting anywhere just because. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I normally wouldn't reset that, but the sign bounce did not work. Even though I did it literally how I always do it. Because when I, the way I do the sign bounce, like position doesn't really matter that much. It's just kind of where you land in the sign. Because like, I'm pretty sure there's a specific spot you're supposed to do, but where you just hold forward and it works. But I just like, I just like kind of line up in a certain area, or not a certain area, just a general area, and just bounce, and then I hit neutral once I get close to the sign. Yeah, it was a lot. Like, I used to do that, and I only streamed on, like, weekends most of the time. Or just any day I didn't have school. I made streams really uncommon. That's probably why it took me so long to get affiliate, just because I was not streaming that much. It's hard to average viewers when you're not, like, consistently streaming. But I put a lot of time into, like, trying to be more consistent the past couple weeks. Especially during spring break. Like, spring break helped a lot. Like, just doing a lot of attempts and... Also, that movie race was very helpful. And also streaming at like a, a decent time. Like I would have streamed earlier now, but I just was like, eh, eh, whatever. Let's go. Yeah, it's 1am. Yeah, but like recently I've been like, you know, I've usually not gone past midnight or like, I end during 12, like, sometime in the 12 o'clock hour. But today I was like, I wanna do speedruns, but I was like, oops, I took a nap. So yeah. I wish I could take a nap like every single day, cause it's just really helpful. Like, I think the reason why a lot of my attempts have not been going well, like, recently, is just because I'm tired. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Why must you do this to me? Hello. Where could it possibly be? Hit, hit the trick, hit the trick, hit the trick. Yeah, go right through him. Fish call it food? It's literally only fruit. They just call it food. At least I went places this stream, you know? I, I left Forest Village, I left Pirate's Island, I, I made it all the way to Sand 2, and it died in Sand 2. 100% what I expected. That's like what runners actually lose their runs to, Sand 2. Though it's usually not Torch Skip, but... Y yeah. I like how these cutscene voices are all like actually in the PC version, like without the cutscene audio. Which is cool. It might mean that like this FMV doesn't actually use like its own set audio track, it just plays sound effects, but also it probably doesn't. Because that means it would be very, very easy for it to be desynced. Alright, if this run dies, next run is no reset. Because I hit two hours right now, immediately, just now. I hit two hours. Unless it goes horribly wrong, in which case I probably will reset. But you know, 10 completed runs, it would be pretty cool to have that. Kinda gross that I only have 9. I think like more than half of those are PVs. I hate this game. I, I do. Why? Explain. Explain. Explain to me why. Okay, now we're doing a no reset. As our 140th attempt. Wonder how many attempts I got in this stream. Probably like 20 or 15. I'll probably hit 200 in like the next two or three streams. Yes, PB. I will totally PB. 
please. Please, I just want to PB, man. I want to escape. I could just, like, move on, but... I, this, like, the fact that the game literally taunted me with that 112 by killing the 111 at the last possible moment. Like, it's, it's just telling me, keep playing. Oh my god, he, he's in my way a little bit. Oh well, we'll see how this goes. Hello, Corvo. Man, I love this song. Like when I don't have to think about the le oh my god. The first check was kind of in my way. That one was like basically and definitely in my way. Like, are you serious? As soon as I say I'm doing a no reset, these guys are like, yeah. We're gonna ruin your speed run. Okay. The screen hoop said yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that green hoop said yeah, I'm gonna ruin your speed run immediately. So it has zero worth as soon as it begins. Are you serious? I... I already have so many mixed feelings about this run, and then it gives me pineapples. Like, how? Why? What is your motive? That's a nice average. Probably all from this stream. I, I managed to get it down that much. Like, wasn't it like 4... Like, not even sub 410? Or like 409 or something really trash? Um... Before today? I think so. But I'm losing time. Wow. That sucked. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice. So I'm ahead now. By like... 12... Where does math? Uh, 7? No. Yes. No, 8. No, 9. Oh, oh my god. I don't know how people did such good mental math. They multiply big numbers in their head and figuring out random stupid stuff, but I, I literally cannot do that. Like whenever I'm watching a stream and something stupid like that comes up, I, I have to pull out a calculator or, or something. Nice.
Whoa. Why did he shoot me from there? That was very strange. He's usually supposed to like get within range. I mean, he technically was in range, but like yeah, better range. I wonder if that I wonder if that cutscene was ever like done in engine. Um, like before. Like I just loaded sands like sand ruins and just to play that cutscene. Like I assume so. Or maybe they didn't do that at all. Regardless, I'm I would be I wouldn't be surprised if like the cutscene data for those for that stuff was still in the like files of the level because it's literally just in the level I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much, dude. Why does it do that? What do you have to gain, video game? What's the point? Why change the camera for no reason? That's so dumb. It's gonna mess with my average, too, because I usually never like actually do that I, well i never actually like continue a run that does that unless under these certain circumstances the potential for a sick gold that first cannon shot was amazing like if i didn't if i didn't delay it a little bit that would have been like my best cannon shot like ever at least for that spe specific one because i've done better on pirate 5 because that one's free I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Like, this is... I really want to reset. Like, this is the worst score I've ever done. Oh my god.
Am I gonna die or something? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, he's already doing this. Oh, and I can't do anything. Oh my god, dude. This is so bad. Oh my god, dude. Please just... Dude, oh my... This is so bad. Welcome to my casual playthrough. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna die. Welcome to my casual playthrough of Billy Hatcher. And I died. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Not continuing. Sorry, that's just not... No. I can't make myself continue that. Okay, just dying in boss fights. Just... Yeah, no. Turns from a no reset into a no play the game. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I still need some more followers. I'm not gonna be playing this game now. I've already picked out the game that I'm going to play. And I think it's going to be good because I've never played it. I, I've never, I've never even like seen it, but I have it. But okay, I'm gonna raid someone. Just um, yes, yeah, save my splits with those terrible averages. Yeah, I hope that it's um. I hope that it'll be enjoyable. No problem. Yeah, the runs were very good. They were much better than normal. Which I really appreciate. I just hope I can like maintain that consistency. At least for the first like two thirds of the stream. It, the, the rest of it kind of sucked, but yeah. All right, but we're gonna raid a rubber if my will let me type. Oh, that, that is a bunch of typos. Oh my god. Bro, my sub only? Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Rubber. Oh my god, go... What is happening? Can I go back to Rubber, please? 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 Can I go back to his channel? Alright, bye. Uh, oh my god, okay. Hold on, I shouldn't get back to this shit. Okay.